accuracy give birth to the baby boy in the last couple of days, Ethan. And uh, it's a small matter of Donegal winning the All Ireland as well. What a week, man. I have to say, it's been the best week of my life. I know that we're actually running five hours behind schedule. But Don Early arrived me this morning, and the first thing he said to me was, I'll write your speech. He handed to me over in the chapel car park. There's 15 pages in it. <laughs> and on the way over I read it, and 14 of them belong to Don. <laughs> <laughs> on a serious note, it's such a privilege to be here tonight back home in Argyra to welcome home these heroes. <coughs> see my own club man, Paddy McGrath, is one of the best quarterbacks in the country. <laughs> I'm one of the most genuine characters you'll ever meet, along with the rest of the squad behind them. Also coming over in that short trip from the chapel, sitting in the sunroof, there was a bit of a tight squeeze due to Jim McGinnis and not me. <laughs> we just said that the downside was that we had to find a glimpsed man on the diamonds in our draw. <laughs> but I would like to reiterate Paddy's words. And I owe a deep debt of gratitude to Jim McGuinness for bringing me on this journey. And I know all the battles that went on down through the years between Glenfees and Ardra, but as the old saying goes, blood is thicker than water. Oh!